why did you opt to come back to Nigeria as opposed to stay back in the, in the Nigerian Republic? Uh, mm. Having been accused of an egregious crime of financial mm. recklessness mm. and all of that in, in, in being suspended today by the president of Nigeria, President Lord Jonathan. Well, first of all, um, I have always said that if I had anything to hide, I would not be doing the things I did. So um, those uh, I have not seen the details of those allegations. Some of what I have heard um, is very ridiculous and funny. Um, and we will obviously, uh, the central bank as an institution should be able to respond to all of those things because we've always operated strictly um, in line uh, with the rule of law. Now, uh, when you look at the things happening in this country, a week ago, for example, the NMPC, Ministry of Petroleum, came out on national television and agreed that they have spent $3.5 billion on kerosene subsidy without appropriation, even in the presence of a presidential director. Nobody has called that financial recklessness. The central bank is audited every year. In fact, we have just completed the audit for 2013. We are supposed to submit our audited accounts within two months of the end of every financial year. We are submitting those, we have a board meeting to approve the audited accounts um, on the 27th of February to submit on the 28th. We are audited by PricewaterhouseCoopers and Ernst & Young. Okay, this um, has been going on since I became governor. NMPC has not been audited since 2005. Wow. Nobody talks about financial recklessness um, in NMPC. Um, I, since I became governor, I have constantly reduced operating costs and expenses in, this, in, this, in the central bank. I've increased operating surplus. Give you an example. The year before I became governor in 2008, the central bank contributed 8 billion naira, 8 billion to the federal budget. By 2012, I contributed 80 billion. This year, I'm contributing 159 billion from 2013. That is 20 times what was being contributed before I became governor. Okay, the issues they're talking about, um, I saw something about uh, uh, currency expenses that we said 38 billion and Mint said 20 something. Mint is only one printer for us. We print currency and import from abroad. So you cannot um, take what Mint says w was their revenue and say that was the entire currency um, expense of the central bank. Um, I'm told that I invested $5 million in Islamic uh, International Islamic Liquidity Man Management Corporation, I have the written approval of President Jonathan um, to, um, to invest, and, and, and we, I will produce the papers. So, I mean, I have not seen all the papers, but at a glance, you know, I look at, uh, this is basically just um, a set of stories. Um, the Financial Reporting Council is not an auditor, it's not the Auditor General, they don't do management audit. Their job is to look at audited accounts and see that the accounts comply. Uh, with, uh, uh, with, with, with reporting. Uh, it, reporting it, it regulates auditors. I have never seen a situation where anybody can rely on uh, FRC and, and all the questions they've asked were answered. And uh, I, uh, these, were, these were questions asked in May after, uh, after, after the 2012 audit. And, and we answered if there were any issues when we replied in May, why wasn't there a response? Why now? I replied in May. So why, uh, or, or June, so why is it in February that someone is telling me that they didn't um, agree, um, agree with my response? So for me, uh, this is not something that comes as a surprise. As you know, the president had asked me to resign and I refused to resign. Um, and I knew that there was going to be a backlash. Um, the, the important thing is I don't want to make myself the focus. The issue on ground is that between January 2012 and July 2013, there is $20 billion that NMPC sold of crude and has not come back, and I'm questioning the right of NMPC to retain that money. Nigerians remain focused on that. The second thing is the message that is being sent is a message nobody should listen to because the message is if you attack us, we'll deal with you. Yes. People should not listen to that message. They should not hear it. It is, it, it, should, it is not a message. We should remain focused. I had no doubt. Any, look, Tam David West, attacked corruption in the oil industry. They jailed him for receiving the bribe of a wristwatch, mm -hmm. allegedly. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Farouk Lawan started his, his subsidy. Uh, the, the entire security machinery was involved in um, trapping him and basically um, throwing throw out his case. So look, um, anybody who takes on the oil sector in Nigeria knows that um, he's going to get a backlash. So this is not for me uh, any matter. I, I, I have no plans to go out to the central bank. I didn't ask for the job. I've always said um, I didn't, that I was ready to go anytime. In fact, I will. Will I, you I, return I, to work tomorrow? No, I have no desire. I, even if, look, even if the court says 
um, your suspension is not valid. I'm not going back. I, I finished my work. I have nothing to prove. I wanted to leave the central bank in October last year. The only reason I remained in the bank was because elders whom I respect insisted that I should stay and complete my term, not because I wanted to. So this is load off my head. It's responsibility that God gave to me, and now I've been relieved of that responsibility. I can look back on every day I was there and thank God for having carried out that responsibility properly. Are you um, not going to challenge your suspension? I will challenge, but I will challenge not because I want to go back. I will challenge because the whole idea of protecting the governor of the central bank is to preserve the independence of the institution. And if this is allowed to hold, then presidents know that if the central bank governor does what you don't like, all you have to do is write a letter and suspend him on any kind of charge. And we have to protect the institution. So I don't want to go back, but I want to make sure that the courts confirm that this is... Um, now, I know there are people that would argue under Interpretation Act that the power to appoint means the power to remove or suspend. Uh, but to the extent that the president does not appoint, the president appoints, but it is subject to confirmation of the Senate. Mm -hmm. And the law is clear, th and the law is clear that the removal of the governor requires two thirds of the Senate. Um, suspension is removal. It could be temporary, but it's removal. If you, if, you, if you suspend someone for one week, you have removed him for one week. And we will argue, we will ask if a man who does not have the power to suspend, to, to remove, can suspend. Besides, the letter was signed by the Secretary of the Government of the Federation, not even by the President. Were you disappointed that the Senate uh, read another letter of nomination from the President today without yes. addressing I, the issue? Actually, actually not. I mean, look, the, the, the way central bank um, governorship works is that the President nominates. I mean, the President can nominate three months, four months ahead of the expiry of the term. The Senate, the Senate can confirm you have a transition and a handover. Uh, Gordon Emefiele is a gentleman, he's a fine gentleman, he's MD of Zenif. Um, he's worked with me for the last four, four and a half years. You know, I, I wish him all the best and, and I wish him every success. Um, Adel Abu, we worked with in First Bank, he's um, an accountant and I've always said that the Committee of Governors, since Tunde Lemo left, there is no accountant there. So it's good that there's an accountant going there. I wish them the very best. I wish my colleagues in the Central Bank the very best. It's got nothing to do with, um, with them, and I wish the institution all the best. But it is in the interest of the Central Bank as an institution that we test this in a court of law. Um, and we've tested many of the powers of the CBN in the last four and a half years. So I'm happy we even have the opportunity to test this. Um, we, we've tested the powers of the governor to remove CEOs, which was the beginning of my problem, removing bank CEOs. We've tested the powers to, um, to recapitalize banks. We've tested the powers to take over banks by Amcon. The courts have always ruled in our favor. I think it is time to test this power once and for all so that it does not happen again. Yes. So what would you say? Would you continue uh, as a, now a former CBN governor to pursue how Nigerians can locate this $20 billion? You know, would you become a transparency activist? What are you doing that? I mean, look, I've done, I've, I've done all that... I was expected to do in my role. The burden is now on the National Assembly, it's on Nigerians. If the National Assembly wants to investigate this matter and get to the bottom of it, that's fine. Today there's supposed to be a legal um, discussion around MPDC. Um, our interpretation is that um, NMPC is allowed by its law to set up subsidiaries to carry out its functions, which means those subsidiaries are agents. NMPC cannot set up its own competitor. So if NMPC sets up MPDC, and gives MPDC a JV, MPDC should collect that revenue on behalf of the Federation, not on its own account. So we don't believe that any revenues MPDC earns from that JV belongs to MPDC. Um, just like NMPC, it was to remit it. Now these are legal issues, um, and they'll be discussed, and our lawyers will defend them. Um, my view is um, I have done everything that was expected of me. I have highlighted the problem. I have uh, written a letter, you've seen it. I have 30 appendices, I've given all the documentation. Um, if after this Nigerians say it's fine, and remember this is 20 billion over 19 months. We've not talked about 2011. Mm. We've not talked about 2010. Mm. This is 20 billion in a 19 month period. We need to um, be sure that we know what we're talking about. One of the things the president said to someone today was that you knew all along that all this theft was happening and this was, your outburst was political and you wanted to use it to embarrass him. Oh, I knew all along. That, the, that this might have been happening, you never brought it to his attention. Well, I, to you, so. um, I think people should be um, more angry about theft happening than about people talking about it. Okay. Finally, what were 
your highest moments at the central bank and apparently the lowest, if it's uh, not today? I was on a permanent high. Yeah? And I, and I still don't have a low moment, not even now. Wow. Thank you very much. Thank you.